You can now easily capture leads and import them into your MailChimp mailing list by using the new MailChimp Collect Emails block. Let me show you how it works. The first thing to note is that inside of our onboarding block, we have a user input that collects an email. We're going to be using this a bit later. Inside of our MailChimp block, we have a few things we need to configure on the right hand side. The first thing is our API key, and we can find this inside of MailChimp by going to our profile page on the right and clicking on account and billing. From here, we can click on extras and go into API keys. If we scroll down the page, we can see that we can create a new key. Now we just name the key and then generate it. From here, we can copy this API key and inside of Mind Studio, we can add the API key. Next thing we need is our list ID. We can find this inside of our audience settings. Let's go back into MailChimp and go into all contacts under our audience section. From here, we can go into settings and then go to audience name and defaults. This will allow us to find our audience name and find the audience ID. We can copy the audience ID and then inside of Mind Studio, we can paste it in. Third, we need the data center, and this is the API endpoint URL, and this will depend on where you're based geographically. It's really easy to find. All you need to do is at the end of your API key, you can see where your geographic location is for your data center. You can copy this end and then paste it in. The last thing we need is the input, and in this case, it's going to be the email that we're collecting. So here I have my variable email. Keep in mind, this is being referenced using the double curly braces. And now we're all done. What we can do at this point is when we publish the app and then we use it for the first time, it's going to ask us to enter our email. So I'm going to enter my email. At this point, we're entering into the main flow, but the email has already been collected. Let's go ahead and check back inside of MailChimp by going to all contacts. And then we can see that the new email has been added. Using this block, you can collect emails from anybody that uses your AI, and then you can start emailing them with your marketing messages and updates. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.